So this is going to be a process. I am well aware and I am so excited to bring you guys along on this journey. Today's gonna be a part one video of getting five of my Louis Vuitton items repaired. I know, I didn't tell you guys there was gonna be five, but you know what, I went ahead and took a look at every piece of my collection that I own from Louis Vuitton. I knew there were things that I've been pushing off for so long of getting repaired, and I'm like, you know what, we're just gonna do it all in one. But you guys know, two of these pieces are my ride or die. I just switched over my bags and not having either of these as an option has been extremely difficult. I don't know how I'm handling this. We're just going to get it done. We're going to get all these things repaired and I'm going to bring you guys along with me today. Before we go, I'm going to go ahead and show you all five pieces and show you what I am seeing as a problem and then we're going to head to Starbucks, get a little iced tea, and then we're going to head to Louis Vuitton. I do have the kids with me today. It is summer break. You'll probably get to see pieces of them today. We got stuff to do though. So I'm gonna bring you guys along. Let's go ahead and take a look first at all of these pieces that need repair. Okay, first you guys know, I showed you guys this before. This is my Neo No Way and the Crafty. And you can see here that this has a latch um, that kind of holds these, the strap is adjustable. And so this, this loop right here is what holds it together. Well, this side came off. So what they should be able to do is to have it for a longer strap and go like this, but there should be another loop here to make sure that it doesn't come undone. So then when it comes undone, it's got this whole, this whole thing going on. This is, I think I showed you guys on this same video of what I saw with this bag was the same problem that I think my Neo No Way is gonna start having. And on one of these straps, on one of these loops, yeah, see right here, this is the same kind of loop, but it has a different purpose. It just has the purpose of kind of keeping this together. And if you slide them on here, it just makes it so it's not so flappy, keeps it a little bit more finished. So what is happening though, is this string is coming undone and the more it comes loose, and I wear this a lot, the more it comes loose, this will come off and I will lose the piece. So I've already lost the piece of the other one, um, but I don't, I don't want that to happen with this one. So I would like them to just fix it now while I have everything else in there and it can be taken care of. But again, that is the only issue I have with this bag. Jeez, you guys know my six key holder. <sighs> She is used and abused, you guys. You can kind of see here on the corners, here it's a little hard to see. There's just some tarnishing in that um, and it is worn off into the canvas in here. So I'm just gonna ask them about that. It's really easy to um, kind of take things out like this. So I'm wondering if they just will have new hooks that they go ahead and put on. But the main problem is going to be this snap see if I can't get this to focus a little bit more. There we go, that's a little bit better. It's just that snap is just, you can see it's starting to tarnish. You know, like it kind of has like more silver. It's really hard to show up on camera, but there's like a definite like wear spot on there. Um, so I know they'll probably go ahead and replace that. And I'm thinking they'll just put on new hooks because everything else is pretty good. Um, I have no issues with it, but that's not the biggie. This is this is a staple for me along with my backpack, but this is not like the number one thing that I'm gonna die over. I'm not gonna show that to you yet, I'm gonna save that for last. Okay, this next one is in my Abeen in my full-size wallet, and I believe this was called the Emily. I think I've, I'm pretty sure I've showed this to you guys before, but it's the same kind of thing. You can see that snap, and right where that snap is, um, and where it's broken, or not broken, but where it's worn there, you can really see that. Uh, that's exactly where it is on my uh, six key holder of that it just wears off there. Um, so I'm sure they'll be replacing that and then everything else is fine. I mean, All right, you guys, I'm struggling with this one and I almost, it almost makes me wanna cry that I'm not gonna have this wallet for a little while. It's my recto wallet. <laughs> I love this piece so much, you guys. You guys know how much I obsess over it. And when I did the last video, I didn't see anything. But lately, when I have been using this, the cards have been going into like the leather. This is what I'm talking about, that the leather separated. It completely has come undone. It's completely like, like it's completely come apart. I am, uh, I'm wondering if this is the one where I'm wondering if they are going to just replace it because it's all of them. Like they're all like this. And I don't think obviously like that is not supposed to happen. Um, but I don't think 
especially as much as we have all paid for this because I know there have been many of you guys that have bought this this should not happen like this is mm -mm, this is not good so this I'm wondering if it was like one of the first rounds and they have fixed this I'm hoping my essay was going to be there today. I did not make an appointment and I kind of just like decided today like rip off the band-aid. We are doing this today. This I had other videos scheduled for today but I'm like no we're just going to do it. We're going to get it done but you guys I am so scared to not have this. I love this so much. It is by far my favorite. So I've already switched things over. I'll show you guys that later here in the video of a what's in my bag um, of what I wanted to go with today because I think I need to transition myself to have a little bit more than just this, at least for the time being. That's really hard for me, but I've set some things up and I've showed you guys how to do these things before. I've set things up to still be hands-free and to still make sure I have my driver's license, I have my card or my keys, I have all that, but let's go ahead and start this process today. Like I said, once I get into the car, we get Starbucks and I get myself a little bit together now. Um, I'll do a what's in my bag video and what I'm gonna be using. I think for my hands-free option, since I'm not gonna have this and some of my other pieces, I'm just gonna show you like my temporary go-to, uh, but that I think a lot of you guys will love. I'm gonna try into this, it wouldn't be like my normal go-to, especially if I'm like going shopping and stuff like that. I don't want like a full bag, but I, I think for the purpose of this video and the purpose of today of trying to wean myself off of this, I think I'm gonna try something else. You guys, this is so good. It is warm, it is no joke, so warm out. We just got here. It is 100 degrees on the dot, not including all the humidity and everything. Whew. And I have anxiety about this, you guys. I'm so nervous. I know it's going to be fine. Like, I know, like, I have complete faith in Louis Vuitton. I know they're going to do a great job. I just love all these pieces so much that I, and I love seeing them. I look at them every day. These are all pieces that I keep out and on display all the time that I love. Um, so especially my recto, like I, I use that like daily. You guys know the struggles I'm having. Okay. So I promised you guys that I would show you what I am going to be using as my hands free option in replacement of my recto wallet. This isn't like the best idea as like a replacement piece or like a temporary piece, but it's my like second favorite SLG. So I thought I'd use it more. It's my Atui. Here's some news on the Atui. They redid it. It is completely redone and it is amazing. So I think mine is now considered the PM size, which was before the MM size. It used to only come in the MM and the GM. And now it is in the PM, MM, and GM. And now the MM is bigger than this, which is now the PM size. And you can get it in all different sizes. And they come with all different options and stuff like that to fit like your MacBook and everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the link of the new one um, down below in the description box so you guys can be able to see it because the only way I knew the kids think this is funny the only way I knew that there was a difference is because the new one actually has slots on the inside of um, like little card holder like card slots inside of it and so that's the only way I knew that it was actually different and then the description say that they can fit different things because now the uh, you guys know I want one for my MacBook 13 and it says it will hold the MM will hold a um, laptop 13 inch laptop that would never fit in this you guys know my iPad mini fits in here perfect um, but this is what I'm gonna be using you guys have seen in the previous videos that I just got this little chain on Amazon of course I will link it all below um, and I wanted to make this into like a wristlet I wanted it to be hands-free if I want something out the door I that's why I love my recto wallet so much I figured this would be good I want to show you guys everything that I have inside first of all is my hand sanitizer you guys know I love this it's gonna be hard to see because I'm in the car it is like a really fine light mist oh, it smells so good um, and then you guys know I got my new Gucci card holder I will say it's a little stiffer than like other ones and I couldn't fit as much as obviously my rectal wallet so I needed my staples so it's stretching it's in like the stretching process which I wouldn't regularly recommend but like I need these things with me. So I have my Target card, another store card, my driver's license, insurance card, a debit card, and a credit card, and then my Sam's Club and Costco card because who knows what I'm doing for the day. So I need all of those things to fit. So 
they're all in here you know what would probably be better is if i just took out these other ones oh yeah you can see they're really hard they're real stiff uh, but what i'll do is i'll go ahead and put my credit card here in the middle so then it'll just be my driver's license insurance cards will be in one my debit card and then target card and the store card and my costco and sam's i'm actually going to put in this next piece because i did add and bring this with me it is all of my other card holders which you guys this is what i was talking about the, i believe it's the emily um emily or victoria something like that i'll link it down below um and put it on the screen here what the name is but this is that piece that came with that wallet my trifold wallet that i'm getting repaired this holds like all of my other like punch cards store cards uh, like rewards type cards that i always want to have with me and keep that in there and then you guys have seen these i think i've shown you guys this or at least i've shown you on instagram it is my um business cards i have on here so it's going to be my Lux and life genie on one side and then disney genie on the other i like these i think they're really fun um especially my disney trips i did hand those out quite a bit and then my car keeps so sad i do have you guys know i keep this in here this is like my um these are like my mailbox keys and this is that my aunt made this for me i was gonna go ahead and put my car keys on here but the only thing is, is it's gonna be my luck that my husband wants to stop in the mailbox and like he has my car he has this car and he can't get in the mailbox because i have my keys with me or something weird you know like because so, he uses the spare keys but yeah that's what i got in here it stores so much more than that um but yeah and of course i'm going to be putting my phone in there um all these things fit in here plus like a ton more you guys know this is like my go-to uh, but i'm going to go ahead and run inside i'm going to start the process of going and getting all this done and i'll kind of see what they have here but the biggest um thing today is going to be of getting these things repaired and what that experience is like and this is definitely going to be a part one video um and then part two will be getting everything back and how long it took and like that whole conversation okay so we just got back to the car that was a little bit of a longer process because i needed to look at everything there's so much new stuff these stores are so full it has been a minute since i've actually been in the stores looking at different stuff and what is available and i am shocked like shocked on how full everything is how amazing everything is looking it is just awesome i'm so happy i do have my eye on a new bag which has got me thinking of some of my other ones that i have purchased um it makes me kind of doubt my thoughts on what i have bought um but that's for a whole nother day that's for a whole nother conversation so what they did is they took four out of the five pieces they had me keep my backpack because they now have someone there um on site that takes care of things like right away and um her needle just got broke um so she's waiting for her new needle to come in and um that will be coming in shortly my neo no way they are just replacing the strap so she's just like you can even take the bag and we're just going to order a new strap so it might um they might have straps available to just have a whole new strap or they might just have to um make a new one it just kind of all depends um so when that new strap comes in or when everything or that part comes in i'll be able to bring in my bag and she'll be able to fix it right away um some things i'm gonna have to pay for and some things i don't um i am gonna go ahead and give you all of that detail stuff once i get numbers for everything because right now even like my recto wallet they're just like we need to send this off we need to something is up so like that's it's shocking that it's less than a year old and it's it's doing that so they wanted to send it off instead of just like replacing it or saying yep we can get it fixed or whatever you guys saw some of the interior coming out that's not normal so i do know that um i do know that that is going to be um to take a little bit of time because they need to take a look at it and kind of see everything so they're going to take a look at that so that got sent off my six key holder they're replacing the button and any of the buttons they don't really charge um they are charging um for the glazing which was 120 and these are soft numbers i'm only going to give you a soft numbers for some information that i know off the top of my head for the new glazing it's going to be about 120 and then all the six hooks and everything in side that is going to be 60 so it's 180 for everything um so i told her before we proceed with anything i kind of want numbers and i want information and 
I'm like, this is a lot of money and product to then have to pay for things to get fixed. Now, like my six key holder, I can kind of understand, um, but I don't really use it that much anymore. So it's like, do I pay 180 or to buy a new one is now $320. So it's, I have some thinking to do, right? Um, I'm going to leave a lot of the other stuff in part two. Once, like I said, I have facts for you guys. I will probably give you guys like a mini update um, on things like when I get my strap and everything and I get numbers and I'll do that probably like a part two for you guys. Uh, what else was there? Oh, my wallet. It's the Josephine. We couldn't quite remember. It's the Josephine wallet. Um, and that is considered um, vintage now along with my... Uh, Neo No Way in the artsy um, or in the crafty that is considered vintage now um, So those things get to be a little hard to work with. She's not gonna charge me for a new snap um, The lining inside though is kind of coming undone. I don't know if I told you guys that it's kind of like come disattached and then when you put things all the way down to the bottom it doesn't want to go smooth down anymore because of the creasing has kind of loosened the two fabrics if that makes sense um have like loosened the fabric so you kind of feel the bubbliness like the waviness of the fabric in there because it's not smooth you know glued together really anymore so i'm gonna keep you guys updated i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm trying to think was there anything else we talked about the backpack we talked about the neo noe we talked about the six q holder the josephine and the recto wallet so yeah we talked about everything um once i get more information that like i said i'm totally going to share it with you guys the store was packed so i couldn't show you guys too much but i am telling you there was a lot there is a lot there's a lot going on and it is amazing like going in and seeing like such vintage pieces like coming back and like the the thought process of how they're redoing things is amazing the change you guys that we've all been like anticipating is totally worth it it is this stuff is really really good it really does make me consider kind of selling some of the pieces that i have and buying some of the new ones because it's just like above you guys it is just like a step above so i'll keep you guys posted with everything but i'm going to go ahead and end today's video well this video is not over I went to dinner. My husband's office is right by Louis Vuitton and right by like our like more luxury stores. It's like kind of by our mall and stuff like that. But I told it was like 30 minutes before I knew he was gonna be done with work. And I'm just like, do you wanna go grab dinner? I kinda wanna stay in the area. Hint, hint. And he's like, yeah, that's fine. He's just like, I'm gonna be done here in like 20 minutes. I'm like, okay, perfect. So I'll figure out where we're gonna go to dinner. We went to dinner and I told him, I'm like, look, I saw this bag today and there's so much good stuff, you guys, in these stores. It was so, so hard. And I feel it's like such a ticking time bomb, like waiting for like the price increases to come because I'm just like, oh my gosh, they're gonna come like any time again. I was talking to one of the girls though, cause my essay was already gone. I had text her and be like, I think I might come back. She's like, I already put it on hold. So I did a thing and we're gonna have some unboxings to do so we're gonna have another double unboxing coming up here soon um i'm so excited like i have not been this excited about a bag in so long but i have decided that i am going to i just feel like if i'm gonna have like this excitement and this much love for a bag i should have that for all of my bags and with the way things are right now and the values of bags right now i feel like if i don't have that love i probably need to sell some so there's actually two that i have decided that i'm probably going to sell i think i think i already said this before i'm going to go ahead and sell my gucci bag i um I haven't grabbed for it once. I honestly had really high hopes for it, but it's just not me. Like it is such a good bag, but it's just not me. So I think I'm gonna sell that. And then I'm actually thinking about selling my Keep All 55, just because again, I don't use it. And I really wasn't that happy with it because I do a lot of air travel. I don't do a lot of like quick overnight or two night stays or to where it's practical with me with two little kids me personally to use this bag so do i think i might buy it later in the future possibly do i would i potentially might regret this potentially considering how prices are going but at the same time 
I feel like this is the right choice. So I'm gonna sleep on it. You know, I think we've already kind of talked about it. I had my husband, you know, like sit, pros and cons, values, all of that. So that's gonna be a whole nother video of the process of me selling my luxury pieces. So I will keep you guys in the loop. But again, if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up, give it a share, hit that subscribe, turn that notification bell on, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.